I'm going to continue looking at creating embroidery from images and using the automatic digitizing tools and this time I'm going to take a look at using the Corel graphics interface to create embroidery from. So here we are in our um, easy design workspace and what I'm going to do is just use this pencil to switch over to graphics mode. Now when you're in graphics mode, you have a lot of capabilities that come with a Corel Draw graphics suite and I'm actually going to be including an entire section of this video um, to learning as much as I, to showing as much as I can about the Corel Draw interface. But for this segment, I just wanted to specifically get to how you create some embroidery um, automatically using this section. So there'll be more um, tutorials coming in another section just about the Corel sort of graphics mode. But for now, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the import tool and I'm going to import an image. Now these are some of the Corel graphics that I found that came with the software and so um, they're Corel Draw files and I'm just looking simply in the folder for weather and you can see if I click on these images it'll give me a preview of what they look like and so I'll just go ahead and select um, a graphic and import it. Now it asks me where on my screen I want to place it so I can just bring my mouse over here and when I click right there it places that vector artwork on my screen. So right now I have a piece of vector artwork on my screen and nothing's been converted to embroidery yet. If I pop back over to embroidery mode right now, you can see my vector artwork on my screen. Um, I can display the vectors on and off, but I have no embroidery converted yet. So just to show that when you open a vector it can still be brought in and used and and as we're going to be moving forward in the video I'll start talking about using the design tools you know and if I wanted to I could digitize this artwork uh, using the hands-on tools myself but for this segment we're going to stick with the automatic digitizing and so I'm going to switch back to graphics mode now when you're in the graphics mode um, if I select on this artwork so if I click on it it selects the whole graphic and I can see here on the right hand side I have what's known as the object manager and it shows me that I've selected a group of 18 objects so this embroidery this image that we see is actually a group of 18 individual objects that were created that's the vector artwork one way or another I can select this graphic this group of images this group of objects I guess it is and this button here says convert selected objects to embroidery so if I go ahead and click on that image or that button takes a moment and we come back over to the embroidery design mode and if I take a look my vectorized artwork maybe I'll turn the visualizer on is actually converted into embroidery so it's been completely converted into embroidery for us already now you can see here the color order was done so that yellow sewed first and then the gray and then this sort of lighter gray and then that color for the sun and then the blue and then the white and a little bit more yellow and a little bit more blue. And so if you didn't like that and you thought, well, gee, I might have done the gray first and then put all the yellow on top, then you have to take a little bit more control. And so that was, again, the fully automatic, just convert everything to embroidery. What if I did it sort of in a little bit more, with a little bit more control? So what I'm going to do, I'll start a new design for this. And we'll quickly go over to the graphics mode. And I'm going to choose image and uh, sorry import and I'll import the exact same graphic again so that's the sun and the clouds and the sky and I'll say import and it asks me to place that on my screen so there I have it now because it's a group of objects it converted the entire group to embroidery at one time but what I could do is I have this group selected right now and if I right click over top of it I have the ability to ungroup so I'll say ungroup. And so now what used to be all a group of 18 objects, I actually have the individual objects that I could select on my own. So for example, if I select the, the background color of this design and I just convert just that over to embroidery. Now if we take a close look, you can see that 
I have embroidery, but I only have the one object. And so maybe I'll turn that visualizer back on. So you can see here that the, just that one object was converted to embroidery. And if I hide the stitches, all the rest of the vectors are still there, not yet converted to embroidery. So we would then go back over to the graphics mode and say, well, okay, that's great. Now we've created our big gray background. Maybe we'd like to, first of all, because the vector, because stitches are being shown, the embroidery is shown, I can't really see my vector artwork anymore. So I might need to hide the embroidery. And then, for example, if we wanted to do the yellow next, I could click on the yellow vectors. And if I hold my shift key down, I can actually click on um, the next one, you know, beside it and select all of those yellow vectors. So I've created and, or sorry, I've selected, um, you can see them here, one, two, three, four, five, six objects. And if I say convert selected objects to embroidery, and we take a look back at the embroidery mode, and now you can see that our embroidery design has a big gray background and all the yellow has been placed over top. So that's the process of creating embroidery from the graphics mode. And so it's another tool that you have to create embroidery from. And, and I could keep going with this kind of general concept. And maybe we'll do the blue color next and convert those to embroidery. And so I keep going along. And that gives me the ability to um, affect the sewing order and whatnot. And of course, as always, these are embroidery objects. And if I don't like something about them, if I didn't want them to be um, a weave fill, maybe I wanted that to be a satin fill, I can open up that object properties and change it. So I can always make that change afterwards. So I'd rather have a satin fill, no problem. So that's um, a small segment about using the Krell graphics mode. And like I said, there will be a little bit more in-depth look at the Krell graphics suite and what all the different buttons and tools are available for over there. But in this segment, I just specifically wanted to show the process of taking some vectors and converting them into embroidery because it kind of fits in with the whole concept of doing automatic digitizing and now I'm going to prepare to show you how to use all of the hands-on tools so that we can do our also create our own embroidery designs and not just use the automatic tools so I'll prepare to start that segment and come right back